Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to the Breeders' Cup Week edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. Over the last several weeks, we've looked at some of the great Breeders' Cup distaff moments of the past. We've looked at the top contenders for this year's distaff, as well as some outsiders that could potentially hit the board. But now it's time to make our final selections for the 2016 $2 million Breeders' Cup distaff, the ninth race and featured event on Friday's Breeders' Cup card at Santa Anita Park. After some deliberation, my choice to win this race is a six-year-old champion mare number eight beholder. I think Gary Stevens has been forced to take the lead in his last two grade one events versus the females when drawn inside of his main competition, Stellar Wind. I think Beholder much, much, much prefers to be on the outside stalking and having a target. I think she still has run valiantly. Her performance ratings support the fact that she's hardly regressed of late. She's been working great, and I think Papa Mandela will have her ready in her final race for one monster performance. I think she'll get the best of her competition in the lane. Let's do it. Number eight beholder to pull the minor upset in the distaff. My pick for second, it's hard to be even pick against her on top, is number one Songbird. The six to five morning line favorite set by odds maker John White. Wow, she's been perfect throughout her career. Comes off three wins on the East Coast against grade one competition. That be a three-year-old uh, Phillies. She'll now take on older females for the first time. She draws the rail, which doesn't bother me much given the fact that she always breaks alertly. Mike Smith almost certain to take her to the lead and play catch me if you can. My only concern is that she did move forward a little bit on, on the ragas and sheets and whatnot last time for the first time quite a bit. She may regress in this spot, and also she has not taken on the likes of this field. Uh, Karina Mia, Catherine Sophia, great horses, an incredible effort last time in the cotillion from Songbird, but this is a step up in my opinion for her. Sure, she is perfect and is going to take some beating, but at 6-5, to five, I'm willing to play against her on top and use her just underneath of my top pick beholder. But much respect to number one Songbird. I'm very willing to lose to this one in terms of betting. What an effort. What a career it's been thus far for Songbird. Great that we'll get her back uh, in the future to see her race some more. Thanks to Fox Hill Farms and Jerry Hollendorfer for that. And then my pick for third in this race is a bit of an outsider. That's number three, Carolina. I don't think the Todd Pletcher Eclipse thoroughbred daughter of Curlin is good enough to win this race, but I think she's sitting on a big effort. She likes the mile and an eighth distance. I think she'll be ready to go and could easily pick up the pieces in this spot. Sure, it's hard to not pick Stellar Wind in the top three, but I'm going to take a chance and use Carolina underneath in the exotics. And then my pick for fourth is the aforementioned Stellar Wind. Uh, have hard to dislike this uh, Curlin Philly for John Sadler and Hironis Racing. However, drawing inside of Beholder and outside of Songbird could be interesting. I think uh, Victor Espinosa has done a brilliant job riding this Philly the last two times out to beat Beholder. I think the trip and the race flow will be a little differently this time out. So I'm going to uh, think that maybe a little bit of a regression for Stellar Wind. She'll probably be there in the end, but I think she could uh, regress a little bit off two big efforts uh, earlier against Beholder. And again, I don't think she's going to get that perfect stalking trip like she did in the Clement L. Hirsch as well as the Zenyatta. So there you have it. First Beholder, number eight Beholder, I think at anything around three to one, I'm unloading to win. Then number one Songbird, the favorite for second. We'll go with number three Carolina for third. And we'll go with for fourth, number five Stellar Wind for fourth. Should be a great race. What an exciting weekend we have out here in Southern California. I can't wait. We'll see you up there. Good luck at the windows. Play smart and be safe if you're going out for the big days. Music.